There you are, thief. Thief? The real thief here is you taking this title from Batman without beating him. You are not worthy of carrying that prize after using brass knuckles on me. I would call Trump making our match no disqualification. You got no alibi. So fuck off. Hey! What the hell? Stealing Captain Rhodes' belt? Captain Rhodes won that thing fair and square at Nintendo Warfare, and now Bane's taking off with it like the thief that he is. So, you're running the title back to your master? I have the title back, sir. Excellent! Now here's what's going on, Rhodes. I am stripping you of the Universal title because Bane was never the true champion. Batman was. So your win over Bane does not award you with the title. Funny how you never mentioned that before, you fucking idiot. Bane, don't be too upset about this. Because Batman will defend his title against you at time frame. This is so fucking typical of you, Trump. Giving your bitch countless opportunities. Do not complain, Rhodes. You deserve this. Yes, he does. Good luck, Bane. That was just retarded! So now he mentions that he gave Bane the title for no reason. This was just a ploy to strip Captain Rose of the title, pure and simple. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Francis! We hadn't seen Francis in a TWA ring for close to two years. Why did he make his return the way he did? Why would he go through all the trouble of disguising as Jason Voorhees to attack, well, Jason Voorhees? And from the way it looks, I think Francis had Pamela in his corner. So what the hell is going on? Is there an alliance between Francis and Pamela? And why would Pamela do this to her own son? For the past two weeks, everybody's been asking me the same damn question. Why was I disguised as Jason Voorhees? Well, I'll tell you. Two years ago, I came that close to winning the heavyweight title from the Hulk. Ever since then, I vowed to one day win the big one. But then in December of 2011, my contract ended and could not be renewed. So I've spent the past year and a half riding my motorcycle across the country. I occasionally caught glimpses of TWA on people's cell phones, and I thought, hey, my contract may be up, but Jason Voorhees isn't, and he's disappeared from TWA. I dressed as Jason, returned, and did whatever that hag Pamela Voorhees said. Then I would have rose up the ranks, won the TWA title, and then rip off the mask. But of course, 
the real Jason just had to return and screw up my plan. So TWA executives, will you please give me a new contract? I just ask you for one thing in return. Uh huh. Join the tea party. Tea party? Who is that? Some stable full of queers? It is my elite force of TWA employees who follow my lead. And we could use one more man so we can go after that one remaining title. Which title? I'd rather not say right now, but I promise if you join us, you'll get your TWA title shot. So do we have a deal, Mr. Francis? I guess so. Excellent choice.